All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gonzo Bug. I'm Jose. Shelly's at home watching a movie. I'm out taking a night hike. It is, let's see. It is 20.07. That's 8.07 p.m. And it's where I'm parked at. And I forget what this trailhead is called. I think it's the 28th trailhead. I'll put it down on the screen. I'm not live today. But I wanted to go out. It looks like it's going to rain. I welcome the rain. I welcome the wind. I don't care. Let me get drenched. I do not care. Let's see if the number's here. No, it was on the, the front here and by the street. 23rd, 24th Street, Trailhead. Yeah. I'll put it on the screen. It's going to get dark. I only have one flashlight and it's on my uh, my solar charger, battery bank. That thing's bright. That thing's nice because it has a nice bright light. That's uh, uh, SOS light on it and a strobe light. So I kind of like it, I really do. And if I remember out on the Appalachian Trail and I get stuck somewhere, running out of batteries, no big deal. I just need some sun, charge up my battery, charge, my, charge up my battery bank, and I'll have uh, battery power to uh, charge up my phone and whatever else I have with me. I'm still going to try to dig up all my military stuff because uh, I have a lot of good stuff in there that I could use hiking. I was in Berlin, I was a 13 Fox which is a Ford Observer and a Ford Observer it has to be a good map reader, an expert map reader. Um, a lot of times when you're out with your platoon the lieutenant's going to say hey where do you think we're at? Because he might not know. He might have got lost. And if you're paying attention, uh, you'll know where we're at on the map. And you can help him out. You can help him with two now. And you be helping yourself out. Because that means you're not going to be walking all that, all that longer because you're lost. It's gonna get dark here real soon. It's not gonna be a long video because you're not allowed to be out in this this trail after dusk. I just want to see how it feels when you're traveling at night. I had to travel and hike at night since I've been in the service. I can feel a little rain. Like I said, I might just go a mile out and a mile back. Do two miles. Um, so if I'm in the dark after a mile, it's not a big deal. I find my way back. I mean, it's straight. I picked this road for a reason because it's straight. And it's kind of paved. So impossible for you to get lost on this road. This is the road right here next to me. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I'm not talking to myself, don't worry. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> Let you guys out here. Sitting on the bench, relaxing. Have a good one. That's it. As you can see, it's getting dark. <laughs> I am definitely going to whip out my knife. It's red right now. It's tethered to my rucksack. And I might not have enough room to grab it. 
open it up and swing it like I should pick myself if it's tethered to me. So I'm going to untether it. I'm going to untether it just in case. I really have nothing to say. I was bored today. I wanted to take this hike a few times. I said, well, let me go wait. So it's cool. Right now it's nice and cool. This is nice weather. I won't sweat at all. And I don't, like I said, I don't mind if it rains, thunderstorms a little bit. I might have to put the phone away. Get a few pictures and put the phone away. I have to um, get my my little drone out that follows you. What's it called? The hover H1. I forget what it's called. It's one that follows you. You could be running and it follows you. As long as you don't run too fast or a bike ride too fast. I didn't keep up with it. Oh, I forgot to hit my watch. I always do that. I have, I have all trails that I want to hit. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Nice. Good. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. This new backpack I'm like I'm liking. It's 60 liters. Um. Bought it on Timo. I know some of you guys don't like buying on Timo, but it's fine. I got it on Timo. I think it was $33 I got it on. I'm not sure what they sell it in America, how much, because I remember seeing uh, just recently some guy got the same bag as me. And it was exactly the same one. Now, was it made in the same place? I couldn't tell you that. It looked the same. The color looked the same. All the uh, buckles looked the same. There was nothing really different about it. Nothing at all that I can tell. And some of these companies that sell stuff in America get it from overseas and they put their brand on it and they raise it up 30 40 50 dollars or whatever the markup price because they brand it i'm definitely going to pick a spot and then turn around it might be the tunnel depending how far that tunnel is i forget that's how light it is over there with the sun uh, it's just uh and that's kind of where um, the way I'm walking, I'm walking west, so that's pretty much uh, southwest where I'm pointing. Out. Now I don't like little critters, so if I hear something, I'm definitely going to pause. That's why I like having a, a walking stick. Because with a walking stick, uh, you can defend the animal. Because he doesn't know what the walking stick is. He just knows you have a long arm and you're poking at him when it's coming forward. I would like to have an accessory where I can, uh, you know, have it on my sleeve or, or my shoulder strap, excuse me, and I can attach it to my walking stick and it's very pointy so if you do point and jab a, an animal that's coming after you he's going to feel it and when he feels it he might not stop the first time but it definitely stop the second time and that'll help you out you help him out you help yourself out you don't want to kill it you just want to poke at it oh yeah there goes the uh, tunnel right there as soon as I hit the tunnel I'm gonna go through the tunnel. As soon as I go through the tunnel, I'm turning around. Well, let me check the time. I wanna make sure I'm out here in the dark um, for at least 15 minutes. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm in the tunnel. If you ever get caught in the rain, that'd be a good place to go to. Okay, let me see my watch real quick. 825. It took me 20 minutes to get here. So, yep. I'm going to turn around and uh, I'm just going to go up here so you guys can see the tunnel. And then turn around and start heading back. I would love to keep going, but I'm not here to kill myself either. This is where I saw all that trash. Huh? That light in the tunnel looks cool. I like that light because it's most motion uh, motion uh, sensor uh, activated. So as soon as you go in there, it light up. All right, I'm gonna go right over here and turn around. Of course, I'm not gonna know exactly how far I went um, unless I do it right on the map, which I'm gonna find out. I'm going to post it. Yep, yeah, I'm going to turn around right here. And go back. Yeah, you always want to have somebody. I, I did text her exactly where I was at, so she does have it on text. You always want to text one, two, three people. Or at least one, but two would be perfect. Where are you going? Just in case. You fall out, you trap somewhere, you break a leg, there's nobody else coming through. So you can have somebody go out there and try to look for you before you go into shock or what have you. Ooh, let me show you what I got. I got a water. Forgot about that. Water's not coming out for some reason. I have it paint somewhere. Rookie mistake. Yeah, I bought a uh, two liter water reservoir. It might be 2.5, I'm not sure. I think it's two. And, and I decided to do that because every time I walk, I don't want to stop, take my bottle out. Take my bottle out and, and, um, cause sometimes I don't want to stop, I want to keep going, I want to keep going. But then I have to get my drink and rehydrate myself. So I decided, even though I didn't want to, I decided to get a hydration uh, pouch. Cause this backpack actually had place to put it and it had a uh, uh, exit hole to um, thread your uh, your hole through so uh, I decided to get it but it's not coming out so let me see if I can do it again I don't think this thing has an off and on switch. Some do. No. Hmm. I have uh, water in there, it's not coming out. I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm not going far. When I get home, I'll fix it so it won't happen again. Lessons learned. But if I was going on a long walk, I probably would have to stop before it gets too dark and figure it out.
All right, I'm still here. Don't have a flashlight. The only place I have a flashlight is my watch. That's it. And that goes out right away. And I don't think I can turn my flashlight on when I have my camera. Man. Something ton of. I forget what it is. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Union Canal Tunnel Park. Yeah, if I go that way, I head over there, but I don't want to go over there because it's muddy. And people tend to hang out over there. Not that they don't hang out here, but. There I go. I have the camera turned around. All right, I'm heading on to the, uh, the hard cover trail which leads right to the parking lot probably got about a football length and a half something like that let's see if you can see that yep yeah it's just water on there I can see it in my car oh that's the gate yeah there's something with there. It's the gate. All right, so I'm at the uh, almost at my passage gate and almost at my car. So, you guys have any questions on this hike? How I can do better and hiking at night? Um, probably not recommend it. You don't want to leave anything behind. All right, so without further ado. We'll see you on the other side.